Hey Things does. Can you get a job um, knowing about Python but no other programming languages? Um, the question I mean, of course, of course you can get a job. I mean, it's, it's very easily possible. I mean, you don't need any. If you are very good at Python and nothing else, this is enough to get some jobs. But um, I think the question misses the point a bit because it's not about how many programming languages you know. It's like it's, you need to be diversified in different areas uh, of expertise. And just knowing the second and the third and the fourth programming language will not make you an expert in these other areas which are much much more important for your success in, in the coding industry. So of course you need to know some coding, you need to know like it's enough to know about Python coding. Um, then the second most important thing or even the first most important thing before being good at um, some coding, some programming languages is communication skills like it's to communicate with clients to really um, understand what the clients want to accomplish with their projects and uh, what is the pain point um, uh, they hire you for I mean either you work as an employee or you work as a freelancer or maybe you even work on your own projects but then your clients are you 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 also have clients I mean in any case you have people for which you write the program for and uh, you need to you need to have good communication skills to identify these pain, pain points so communication is really king i mean it's about this old debate what is more important efficiency or effectiveness so effectiveness is striving for a goal being effective like everything you do is towards this goal or efficiency is reaching this goal with the least amount of resources and it's much more important to be effective i mean if you are efficient in doing nothing, what is the purpose of that? I mean, you can be very efficient doing nothing. You can be very efficient just sitting on your sofa and don't consume consuming any anything. Yeah. So um, you can be efficient working towards a bad thing. I mean, you can be efficient, like I don't know, some dictators are efficient doing the wrong things. It's about doing the right thing first. Like effectiveness is much more important, and then it's about I mean the second step is efficiency. And effectiveness is also um, communication. It's also identifying uh, where you should invest your time and your effort and your work hours and then efficiency it's about your skills and coding. So but you should wor worry first about effectiveness. So what is the overall area where you can bring maximum value to society? How can you how to identify these points? So if you if you work together with clients one-on-one -on -one, then identify the pain points of them. Identify how you can deliver maximum value to them even if they ask you to do A. I mean, oftentimes it's it's about doing B, but you have to identify B, and they won't tell you. I mean, they even don't know sometimes that they want you to do B. They tell you to do A, but really they want you to do B. I mean, it's it's often oftentimes like this. They tell you to to uh, improve uh, usability of a platform, but really what they want is to speed up the algorithms in the back end, because this is where the pain point of the user comes in. I mean, if they have to wait forever for their back-end, for the back-end algorithm to terminate, uh, you can improve um, the design of the front-end forever, but users still will hate the experience. So you need to identify why the users are not happy with the experience. And this is, this is where communication comes into place. You need to communicate with users, with your clients. You need to dive deep. You need to be a human and also you need to sell and present your skills and your techniques. You need to do marketing. It's all about communication. Yeah, communication is much more important. Um, communication is effectiveness and coding skills is efficiency. And it's enough to know one program in languages, of course. Uh, I, I mean, the next thing I would try to learn is try to improve your communication skills. Read a book like... I don't know, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People from Dale Carnegie or any other book that will improve your communication skills, then really try to identify your holes there and then you can uh, start thinking about learning a second programming language. But then also you should not learn the programming languages just for the purpose of learning. You should learn it to solve problems. I mean, if you have the clients, if you have, uh, like, if you have received the jobs, the job, then you can... Um, learn the skills required to finish the project but f then first of all you need to um, have the project yeah so it's about it's more about um, 
project first mindset and communication and then about learning a second language but learn it only if you need it okay see you in the next video bye